Yeah, th thanks, Chris. Thanks for your time. And uh, it's been a tif difficult environment for construction companies and engineering companies in the last few years. You're still in that tough environment. How would you define both the market at the moment as well as where uh, Avenge stands within that? Yes, thank you. I mean, uh, from a market perspective, we obviously the SA pure infrastructure market, maybe excluding building site, remains difficult as well as manufacturing. So manufacturing impact our steel business as well as our manufacturing businesses. But on a more positive side, I mean, we have seen a, a substantial uh, rebound in the mining sector and the amount of activities and increased volumes there was much more than we expected. So, uh, and we remain positive on the medium term outlook for that part of the business. Then coming to Australia, you know, the biggest part of our business is in Australia. There, the market's not necessarily the problem, except for oil and gas and to an extent mining. Uh, there are many social infrastructure uh, activities going on in roads, rail, water, uh, and a similar uh, activities in New Zealand as well as Southeast Asia. Underperformance from a bench perspective is there more like on the, uh, as a result of internal performance issues and not necessarily market. I think from a performance perspective, um, obviously we have improved our uh, financial performance. We were targeting to be profitable, but I think as reported we had a, a sort of a, a recognition of a, a late award against us, which uh, requires to still make a, a small loss on an adjusted basis. But uh, almost all our businesses have improved their financial performance, uh, with the exception of McConnell Dow, where there is still uh, some project performance and there is some risk in terms of litigation and uh, claims, which the team there is working on. Uh, we were hoping to have that behind us by now, uh, but it, take, it take, takes longer. It's a bit more difficult. Although from a financial perspective, the mining absolute profitability is almost half than last year, I think it's a great performance under the environment which was, you know, a year ago we've lost 40% of our revenue uh, and uh, the team have reacted uh, quickly and strongly and were able to achieve about the same type of uh, margins um, in this period. And then the Greenica LTA aspect of the event is going to go through a major transformation over the next while. This comes after a settlement agreement with the government. We've also agreed to pay a certain amount in, uh, I think, of the 1.5 billion settlement. And uh, we're going to see a changing face of this business. I think we're going to see a changing face of the sector in South Africa. Uh, so obviously it's been a process where, where we've been uh, heavily involved in for the last three years and, and personally I'm very positive about the overarching results that we've achieved. Uh, I mean there's def different configurations that you can take and, and some of the other uh, construction companies has choose a different uh, way to comply uh, with the VRP conditions. Um, we have actually went on the process of transforming Greenica for, for a number of uh, years. The problem that we were at substantial losses we're at the point where we have uh, basically turned around Greenica LTA and we are much better place to do a transaction where there's likelihood of future success. So um, we will go to shareholders in a month or so to get approval for that transaction. Um, we are doing it with Kutana, Kutana uh, construction, but also we will include in that configuration a range of current contractors uh, um, in the shareholding structure. Um, on names I cannot discuss at this point in time, but I'm very optimistic that we, we will have a very formidable consortium of partnerships which hopefully uh, can achieve our objective of becoming a growing business uh, in the SA and uh, sub saharan or Africa space. In this new business, what does it start off with in terms of an order book and uh, what is the outlook for the sectors that it's going to be uh, involved with? I mean, its focus will be, it will start basically as Greenwich LTA. So uh, the order book of around six billion that I think we've reported, that will be the starting point of, of the business. It's a reasonable, healthy order book. So I think uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's a, a good starting point. Um, focus will be on where Greenwich has traditionally operated. So uh, I think in the short term, SA and SADC, 
but also selectively in Africa. Okay. And then if you would just define the current priorities for the business as you move into the second half, both in terms of the turnaround in Australasia, which you say has been slower than you were hoping, as well as the immediate outlook for the business. We have a, a, a few sort of priorities. I think the biggest one is the Connell Bell. I mean, uh, as I said previously, we've guided that we will be have the turnaround behind us. That's taking longer, it's more difficult. But uh, so that will be the focus. That business has been downsized, so it's much more controllable, uh, lower risk. But uh, we need to deal with the outstanding claims and we need to deal with the litigation uh, issues in that business and normalize operations. Hopefully we can do that, uh, if not in this financial year, at least in this calendar year. Second priority is Greniker has moved substantially from uh, substantial losses to sort of a break-even uh, position. That's not acceptable. The business needs to start generating uh, acceptable margins and comparable to its peers in, in, in industry. So the focus will be there to, to push underlying performance. I think we've done what we had to in terms of the cost base. Uh, now we have to work on the execution side of the business. Um, Link to McDowell's claims resolution is obviously the group balance sheet. Our balance sheet is in a lot better, uh, healthier position, but it's not at a, at a sort of level where I'm comfortable with it at, at this point in time. And the one brighter spot on the horizon is that the mining seems to be turning around. I mean, a few months, uh, a year ago, it looked really dismal. What is what has precipitated that turnaround, and what does it mean for you? I mean, to start with, I mean, you know, six or eight months ago, uh, eight months ago, we had uh, we've lost forty percent of our revenue through contract cancellations, scale downs, and uh, reduction in volumes on existing projects. Um, that gap has been filled. So uh, we had, but more than forty percent of our yellow equipment standing. Uh, almost all of that, at least all in South Africa, has been redeployed. It's about a 15% residual on that. We are very positive on working on a few tenders. We can be a bit more selective because we don't want to necessarily increase that top line too quickly. Um, it's been a business that's been able to operationally perform strongly for the last many years. So we would we would like to expand our uh, footprint and top line in that area. And linked to that, we would have to bit, be a bit more smarter and clever around uh, uh, yellow equipment. I mean, we cannot buy all of those uh, equipment. So we're looking at uh, uh, structures and opportunities to have a, a more balance uh, between leveraging the balance sheet, uh, using some leases and some rentals. Um, but all in all, we and I'm very optimistic about uh, the outlook.